What up, TMV fam? Welcome back to TMV Nation. It's your man, Vaughn, and I am back on the scene, back on the set, by myself. Now, y'all know what I usually say. If I'm here by myself, it's because I'm doing a challenge. Not doing a challenge today, y'all. Just doing a solo mukbang. Just wanted to come on here and uh, chop it up with y'all. Talk about a few news topics, a few hot things that are going on right now <clears throat> while I eat my lunch. Now, I got some Vietnamese food here. Um, this is a vermicelli bowl with grilled pork and chicken. It's hard to get down in there from this angle. I also got some spring rolls with uh, shrimp and the sauce that comes with that. So I'm going to share this with y'all and we're going to talk about what's going on in the world right now, y'all. Yeah, so how y'all doing today? How are y'all doing today? You know what? I'm going to start y'all off. I'm going to start y'all off with a piece of chicken and some noodles. Look at that. Can we pull up some of these noodles? There it is. Mmm. Mmm. That's good stuff, y'all. Go ahead and get y'all a piece of that chicken. Mm -hmm. How many of y'all like Vietnamese food? Mm -hmm. Get some of that spring roll. Yes, sir. Breaking news, y'all. Breaking news. This morning, the FAA grounded all domestic flights. All flights within the United States had to be canceled or delayed because of a system glitch. Any of you who got caught up in that, drop us a comment down below and let us know how you made out. What's going on with the airline industry, y'all? Let me see. I read something saying that it was the notice to air missions alert system that went down. That's the system that alerts pilots about closed runways, equipment outages, and other potential hazards along a flight route or at a location that could affect their flight. So, okay, that makes sense. If that system is down, then it's not safe. You know, these pilots are going to be missing a lot of information that they need, right? I mean, I guess. So, hmm. So can somebody tell me why? So if pilots have to check that system and that's telling them about all that stuff, I mean, I don't know. I don't know. I don't know about the uh, airline industry and what pilots do and all that kind of stuff. Seem to me like the pilots, are the pilots really deciding where to go and all this kind of stuff? Or are they taking orders from the air traffic controllers? If there's a closed runway, the pilot got to check on that and know about it and decide which runway they're going to land on? Or does the air traffic control tell them what to do? Potential hazards along a flight route. I mean, aren't there other people that tell these pilots all this kind of stuff? That just sounds kind of, that sounds kind of fishy to me, y'all. That don't sound like a good enough explanation to me. Because, uh, uh, seem to me like these planes be on autopilot. It's just been too much going on with the airline industry, y'all. All them canceled and delayed flights that Southwest had during the winter, during the Christmas holidays. Folks stranded and stuff like that. Don't y'all hate it when the, um, what do you call it? The spring roll bus open like that? 
Why does that? What did y'all do wrong that made that happen? This is some good stuff, y'all. I don't care what you say. In other news, the six-year-old boy, this six-year-old boy in Virginia shot his teacher. That's right. He shot his teacher. Did y'all hear about that? This boy pulled a nine millimeter out of his backpack and blasted the teacher. He only fired once and she got hit in the hand and the chest. She's recovering. She's expected to be fine. But what's going on with these kids, y'all? I got some questions about that case. So first of all, the fact that he only fired once and she got hit in the hand and the chest. I'm imagining. I haven't read a whole lot about this, y'all, but I'm imagining the teacher when she saw him pull that gun out, maybe she maybe she did the oh my god, what are you doing? And got hit in the hand and the chest. Or maybe she didn't even see it coming. And just happened to have her hand up around her chest area. But I got some questions, y'all. First of all, that was his parents' gun. How did he get his hands on it? How did he manage to get to this gun and put it in his backpack and make it out of his house? How did that happen? How did he know where it was? That's the first question. How did he know where it was? How did he get to it? I got some other questions. Any of y'all that have ever fired a nine millimeter nine millimeter pistol pistol? You know. There's an action on top of that gun that you got to rack in order to pull the first bullet into the chamber. It's kind of hard to pull. It takes some strength. How did that six year either it was already racked? Or oh, this that's one strong ass six year old. So it might have already been racked. Safety might have already been off. So y'all already know. If it's racked and the safety is off, all he gotta do is pull the trigger. If the safety was on, obviously he got some familiarity with firing firearms. Because uh he knew to turn the safety off before he could fly. What? Bro, what are you talking about, man? My question is really about how did that first round get racked? For my country folks out there, how did that gun get cocked? So what they gonna do about that, y'all? It's not, it's uncommon to prosecute a child that young. Can the parents be held responsible criminally? Or is this gonna become a CPS case? Ending on a lighter note, y'all. Did y'all see the um, Golden Globes Awards? They skipped the Golden Globes in 2022 because of some controversy. I don't remember what it was. But there had always, there had already been complaining about the lack of black representation, both in the, um, you know, like the hosts and also the folks that get awards, they get awarded just like the Oscars. Jared Carmichael, who was a comedian, was chosen to be the host. This man came out on stage and said this. I am your host, Jared Carmichael. Sure. Sure, sure, sure. And I'll tell you why I'm here. I'm here because I'm black the Hollywood Foreign Press Association, which I, I won't say they were a racist organization, 
But they didn't have a single black member until George Floyd died. So do with that information what you will. They're not really asking, Gerard. They're insisting that you take the meeting. And I'm like, or what? They're gonna fire me? They haven't had a black host in 79 years. They're gonna fire the first one? That was pretty bold, wasn't it? He said, I ain't gonna just stand up here and act like this is something to celebrate. Just being, you know, the first black host and all this kind of stuff. I don't know what y'all doing. Y'all trying to make us turn our heads, turn a blind eye to what you've been doing by putting a black face on a white celebration. Y'all drop some comments down below. Let us know what you think about these topics. And speaking of his opening monologue and what he said basically about racism, y'all stay tuned right here, TMV Nation. The Brothers of the Man Cave are going to be bringing part two of the pain of racism. As many of you know, uh, back in December, we did part one on, T on um, Embry Family Entertaining 7's channel, hosted by TJ Embry. The Pain of Racism Part 1. We're continuing that in the beginning of Black History Month, February 1st. We are bringing you TMV Nation and the Man Cave Brothers will be bringing you Part 2 of that discussion. Y'all stay tuned as the Man Cave continues our coverage of football games. We are past the college playoffs and championship. We are into the playoffs for the Super Bowl and we will be Wrapping up our coverage of football with um, the Super Bowl. That's going to be after our discussion of uh, racism. So we appreciate y'all for hanging with us as always. Make sure you hit that like button. Make sure you hit that subscription button if you are not subscribed already. Make sure you hit that bell so that you get notifications each and every time we put out a video, put out a short, or go live. We will catch y'all on the next one. TMV Nation. Out.